This is a very gentle murderer. He tied the woman to a chair and gently cupped her feet. Then he ties her loosely with rope. What's even stranger is that he also cooked and fed Adele delicious food. He even helped the mother and son repair the wall and change the tire. In the end, both them couldn't bear to see him go. Mother and son went shopping at the supermarket during the day. A wounded man came out. He wanted Adele to take him away from here. But Adele refused straight away. Because this man did not look like a good person. But Frank put his hand on the little boy's neck. He also said in a strong manner that they had to help. The mother had to agree. Frank came back to her house and first looked around the room. He said he wouldn't hurt anyone. But to protect the mother and son. He had to keep them tied up. Because it's a crime to harbor a fugitive. But everything he did was so gentle. Frank was in prison for murder. But he accidentally broke his leg while escaping from prison. So he abducted the mother and son. He wanted to take the train out that night. But there was a constant patrol of police outside the house. So he had to stay overnight. But unfortunately it was a weekend so the train station was closed. So he helped change the oil and fuses. He also put a new filter on the furnace and a new coat of wax on the floor of the room. He taught the boy all kinds of baseball skills. And Adele saw all of this. After her divorce, Adele raised her son alone. She never thought a trip to the supermarket would lead to this seemingly perfect man. But then there was a knock at the door. Frank rushed to grab Adele. Fortunately, the knocker was just a neighbor who was delivering peaches. Frank heard Henry's calm answer and kept praising him. But Adele sensed that something was wrong. She noticed that the way Henry looked at Frank was obviously not right. It was like a son looking at his father. Adele hoped that Frank would leave this place as soon as possible, not to affect their normal life. But at this moment, her heart was already sad to see Frank leave. Frank looked at the peach and had an idea. He asked Adele and Henry to help him peel them. Then he showed Adele how to handle the ripe peaches by hand. The air seemed to be filled with the smell of happiness. With Frank's help, a cobbler was made. The pie in the oven was swelling like Adele's affection for Frank. He seemed to be a good husband and a wonderful father. This moves her. He's a murderer. She's a single mother. An accident brings them together. But as the day progresses, they fall in love. Fugitive Frank knows he can't stay here long. It's time to leave. But Adele seemed to be very reluctant to leave. Maybe tomorrow, once your stitches have had a little more time. They're not going to stop looking, Adele. They have dogs that can smell your blood. You should probably let your stitches heal. So Frank decided to stay for now. Frank and Adele did something at night to make Henry sleep difficult. Frank woke up early in the morning. He seemed to be looking for something on the lawn. It turns out he was looking for a beautiful little flower to give to Adele. Then he fixed the broken stairs and quieted the creaking door. He also cleaned out the gutters that had been clogged for years. And Adele was like a wife bringing him water to quench his thirst. Her eyes were also full of happiness. Frank taught Henry how to change a tire like a father. But an unexpected visitor burst in. The neighbor was going to ask Adele to help him with her son. But Adele was afraid that it would expose Frank. So she hastily refused. But she didn't listen to her explanation. She left the boy and left in a hurry. When Frank saw the boy, he was very nice. He even invited the boy to play with him. It turns out that Frank is not a vicious man. Years ago, a beautiful girl came into his life. But after they got married, she wasn't satisfied with the status quo. She spent her days hanging out in all kinds of bars. What's more? Is he even my son? <laughs> Frank was furious when he found out the news. He accidentally killed her. And the baby was accidentally drowned. The night came. The boy's mother came to pick him up. At that moment, the TV was showing the report of Frank's escape. The boy saw it and screamed to his mother. But his words were cut short by his mother's slap. After a few days together, Frank and Adele decide to move out of the house and escape to Canada. They packed up all their belongings and cleaned the house. He is a murderer who escaped from prison. But on the run he falls in love with this single mom. Now they decide to get out of here and start a new life. Adele wanted to exchange all her savings for cash. But the staff sensed something was wrong. She called the manager to handle it. Adele was acting very nervous. And her body was shaking involuntarily. Just when she was about to be exposed, her son immediately answered the manager's inquiry. Packed up all the things. We're emptying our bank account and gonna make a run for the border. You know, like Bonnie and Clyde. This joke made them lower their guard. But when Adele was about to drive, she was nervous again. And all this was watched by Frank. 
It turns out that there were many sad events in Adele's youth. She gave birth to Henry and never got pregnant again. Every time she lost a child, it was a deep hurt to Adele. A child lived safely until the day it was born, but he died right after birth. After all this, her husband left her. This also caused her to be sad every time she saw someone else's pregnancy, so she never left the house after that, until she met Frank by accident. This is what gave her a second chance. I came to save you, Adele. I can't give you a family. No, but then Henry was sent back by the police. When she saw the police, Adele immediately became very nervous again, and she kept saying something. Adele's abnormalities were clearly seen by the police. He saw Adele packing her luggage and immediately became suspicious, so he was ready to go into the house to check it out. Luckily, he just took a brief look and left. Frank knew that the police must be starting to suspect Adele and Henry, so they had to get out of here as soon as possible. But just then there were a lot of sirens. Adele was still thinking about how to help Frank escape, but Frank knew there was no way out, so he tied Adele up like he always did. He then used duct tape to secure Henry's hands. Then Frank went out to let the police catch him. Henry saw the scene and shed tears because he already considered this murderer as family at this time. In the end, Frank was sentenced to 25 years in prison again, and Adele was trying to help Frank to reduce his sentence. As time went by, Henry also grew into a man. He could change a tire for someone at a critical moment. He could win medals for the entire school's baseball tournament, and all because of the murderer he spent five days with. 25 years later, Adele is wrinkled, but she still remembers the husband she spent five days with. There are all kinds of strange encounters in life. Fate will always find you when you need it. Never lose hope in life, because life will always bring you surprises. You can subscribe and leave comments if you have any ideas. Thanks for watching. See you next time.